How are you feeling? Uh, not good at all. Honestly. Trying to, uh, I mean, there's just so much. It feels like my life has been flipped upside down and um, I have to take care of my dog. And uh, there's somebody that has been giving my mom false information. Obviously, she's coming to that conclusion now, but there's there's a there's somebody that's like coordinating like a like a takedown of me. And uh, I don't know what else do you want to call it? <clears throat> I mean, all this shit doesn't just happen. Let's just suffice it to say everybody knows that um, I, I had a problem, you know, uh, with drugs it's going on uh, three years in March, be three years. And uh, she's in this club. Uh, and I don't know exactly if this is how it went down because I don't listen to her phone calls. I just know there was this new woman. They take in new, uh, like, women. Uh, it's like kind of like a women's only club. It's called the Red Hat Club. Anyway, okay. that doesn't, that's not important. And um, she was extremely uh, intoxicated. And she came up, and I was uh, working on a, a project. I had everything. Oh, I was working on my printer re lining my uh, alignment on my printer because I have another printer. So I was seeing which one, one is smaller, um, but I have more ink for it. One is larger, but so I was like trying to see, you know, which one I should use anyway. So it just caught me off guard uh, because she came up and um, I, she started going on and on uh and it didn't make any sense to me. So that's where I was like, what, where, you know, where's this information? Like, where, what's going on here? The next thing I know, she had called the police. Um, and she was being very, I mean, I'm not a punk, but uh, she was, you know, digging into my chest. And um, I said, Mom, can you please stop? doing this and this was at the top of the stairs everything about it was just not my mom i i don't know how to explain it and this is on top of like a lot of weird stuff so uh the next thing i know the police are coming and all of a sudden it gets switched that i like uh the the, the battery got involved and i'm like battery that battery i'm battering my mom like it, it was just okay, like so all... your mom so she put charges on you a battery and you didn't even well, you didn't even touch her well, i removed her fingers from touching me but i mean right. it's like this doesn't make any sense now i could chalk it up to uh the the being under the influence but that still doesn't fit my mom it just somebody was in her ear somebody was in her ear and got her really extremely pissed um i was in scientology for a quick minute and they they call your friends and family like some name and they you know like oh they're a something or other we can't have that and they don't want you to talk to them anyway it was that strange type of programming that was going on and it was this new girl that like I said, uh, no one knew in the group. Um, all of a sudden, she was up late at night, um, just, you know, being like a drinking buddy to my mom. And then I asked and I said, oh, yeah, does she drink? And she doesn't drink. So she's kind of just, just kind of, you see what I'm saying? You see, see, what, see where it's going? It's like. That, uh, go, I mean, I don't know if you've ever been to jail, but it's just, you might as well put your face inside of 
you know, a, a sick sow. You know, just you might as well have just a million people sneeze on you because that's what's going to happen. And they kept it like um, negative, like 40 degrees. It literally could have snowed in there. Um, and of course, I this is uh, this is how horrible it was. I had my brand new, brand new, brand new uh, board shorts. Uh, it took me three weeks to get them. And I know I'm making a um, big deal about these, but these were like, I love these. I just got them. Um, they were expensive, like 150 bucks expensive. And uh, they just cut them. They just cut the strings. So now they're worthless because they, uh, they, you need, so my pants were falling off the whole time. And it was, it was a nightmare. It was just a nightmare. The the only uh a little bit of uh redemption, um, which my mom just kind of I don't know, just didn't I guess well she didn't she didn't show up for court or any of that stuff or anything. But they uh took me to the um the uh hospital and they did my blood work and of course I didn't have anything in me. Right. So I was like, well, you know, because she, and I think this per, so I don't know. I wanted, I let my mom, you know, obviously know that. And uh, I don't know. I don't know how this is done. This was done way. I, I, I could tell when I'm out of my depths and I'm out of my depths. Uh, it all started with the um, with that van, and then it hasn't let up. And um, to be honest with you, I just want it to stop. Um, I just want my life back. It feels like uh, back to the old situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. okay, great. They got me out. Uh, so the what I think I could do is I'm going to, um, I need to have, uh, I need to have all the facts and everything um, because I can't let them uh, alienate me. Right. And that's exactly what they did. So, but enough about me. I'm, um, it makes me like almost want to cry thinking about how my computer's almost ready and then there's nowhere to put it. So. I'd really like to find out who who uh who you know who makes it their business to 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 do there there I don't know there's some there was something very good going on um well that's usually the when the bad starts happening when when everything starts getting good um you know, that's she, usually when stuff moving happens to Washington, I'm moving to an undisclosed location um, I'd like to have these last two months. I moved in last year. Um, I moved out when I was 17 years old. So I'd like to have these couple months to ha be pleasant, you know? A lot of people have been worried about me. And, um... So I just wanted to let you know what was going on with me. Um, in the past couple days, it's been the worst couple days ever. Uh, basically, what happened was is uh, I was forced out of my place of residence, and um, I had five minutes to get a backpack and put clothes in there and then leave. Um, during this whole ordeal, um, my car was impounded and my credit cards were taken. Um, I'm just telling you all this. That, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that I'm leaving out just, you know, because it's just life and it's it's one of these things where you know i got to deal with it 
Um, as you can tell from my voice, I've been having a very, very stressful uh, past week. I, I, I miss uh, I miss my mother, even though she she did this to me, and I don't even want to get into what else she's done. I, I I honestly don't think she's right in the head for doing this. I I I, I just I, I don't understand it. Uh, one bit. Um, it's kind of confusing when she asked me, you know, would I be willing to go and help her move to Washington? And uh, my answer was, I, I really didn't. I, I really didn't want to go to Washington, but if she needed help moving there, I would help her move. And. It seems like she doesn't. She didn't want to go to Washington, or something changed, or something like that. I don't know what what exactly went on with that. But as far as it seems, it's like she's making it seem like as if I wasn't like now. I'm not. What I was never welcome there, which was completely untrue. So um, you know, there's a, there's a lot of stuff. That happened because of this that um, I kind of lost my mind um, I I'll be honest with you I mean there was a lot of people contacting me and I, I just didn't I, I didn't know what to say like I, um, I can't even go to the property that I was at to get my stuff without first calling the police or a lawyer or something I mean it's very all weird because um, Five minutes before the police showed up, I, uh, there was this package that was delivered by FedEx, and it was like about this like uh, court hearing, and it was like my mom like going on about this stuff, and I and I was reading it, and I'm like, Mom, what is this? And she didn't say much, and then all of a sudden the cops showed up, and then they're like, We're gonna need you to leave, and I'm like, What? And I just didn't understand what was going on. Um, so, oh, and then the reason why my car got towed, I didn't understand this, but apparently I owed $40. I did everything for that court case, you know, that um, I, I, you know, went to rehab. I did the EAAs. I, I paid. I did all this stuff, but f for for some reason, they said that I still owed $40, and then that transferred over to a warrant. So then they arrested me, impounded my vehicle, and then they called the place that was saying that I owed the $40, and they didn't even want to pick me up. So I was like, I, I don't understand. Like, you're arresting me for $40? And that's not the first time I've been arrested for like for like a twenty dollar charge, you know, court fees, quote unquote court fees. It's just, you know, I I mean I I I went to jail yesterday or two, a couple days ago for a forty dollar charge. Yet Hillary Clinton is still free. How is that possible? How am I going to jail for a forty dollar fee yet this mob boss can go out on tv i mean trump great you've done some great things but i mean